Hi everyone. Right, I'm just going to see if I can bring this in and focus it. I'm not sure if it will. Oh, come on. It's not focusing properly, my camera. And it should. Let me just try and take it out a little bit while it focuses then. Sorry, this is a pain. But just give it something to look at. It won't do it. <laughs> Right, that should be it. You're going to have to have it at that level. I'm really sorry. But what I'm going to show you is um, how to make one of these. It's a miniature book. Um, so if you're, um, you know, like doing the Graphic 45 and you need a, a project and you need to put your books, you know, like a, a set of books. I mean, I've just roughly done this. You can make yourself a little book and then make yourself a bookcase and put them in and they're easy to do all you need is some of this double sided thick foam tape and some card now I'm just using craft card at the moment and then what you do is you mark out the size of which I just think I've not quite got right here um, you mark out the size of the book that you want so the picture, if you take the picture, pop it on the card and then like that and then score it okay so you can score that score the binder in between um, and then you can cut that out to size now I'm just gonna cut mine now because I've, I don't want it long obviously I could have it long and have a title thing here but I don't want to so I'm just showing you how to do this one like that okay and then what you do is pop some glue on the front cover These are so easy, but you could put them on your project if you're doing a baby mini, you know, a christening or something like that. <laughs> you could do that. It's um, I've not quite got that straight, but I'm just showing you what to do. Okay, let me just get that in there. That's that. Just cut that little bit off there. I hope you can see this. And then I'm going to straighten that up there. Okay, so there you've got your binder for your little book. And they do, they look fab, look. <laughs> and then what you need to do is take a strip of this that will give you at least three lengths of that book. Okay. And you just pop each one on together. You pop that piece, and it's all stuck up, like that. We take one of them off. Actually, that won't be long enough. So we'll just cut another piece. So you want two together like that, and then take a third. And this only depends on the let the width of your binder. See, I can get another one in there. So we'll take those, one of those off first. You need to get these cut together. Okay. Then take off one side and pop that in the book like that you see doesn't matter if it hangs over that's how you're going to get a straight one and then what you need to do is just chop that off i mean i'm not bothered about mine uh you know being inside i did put a, a ledge here in that one but i'm just showing you how to do it so you can do that yourselves okay Like that. Make sure I've got that side done. That's it. And then you take your top layer off. Like that. And then you fold that over. And you've got yourself a little book. They do look better like that, I have to say. But I'm just showing you how to do them. And there you go, you've got a miniature book. And whatever project you're doing, if you just want to put one of those on a project, you know, on a tag, on a page or whatever... Um, and then you can put somebody's name on it or it'll just look fab I mean you could then another thing you can do which I'm only showing you is if you you should do this first obviously I'm just showing you now because I've just thought of it okay when I can get it done watch my fingers lady 
should have done this first, but you can put pop your little hole in there. Right, do it with your clip thing. And then you can, um, let me just show you. I hope you're still seeing this. You can take hold of, um, you know, like a jump ring. Let me just get a little bit of chain. You need a bit. I'm going to cut a little bit off. But there's lots and lots of different things you can do. That's already got a, a little thing on there, so we'll just cut this a bit. Okay. What did I do with that thing then? There. Oh, silly old. Okay. Pop that in there. Wrong one. Come on, woman. And then, let's do it that way. Pop that on there. Okay. And uh, obviously, you'll have cut that first and done it properly. And then put a little, um, there we go. It's not the right colour, of course. I'm just showing you. there you go you can hang that part of a charm you could actually make it into a proper book with little pages in it if not and you just want something to do like that then there you go i hope you like that please try it thanks for watching and i hope you can see and that's not all blurred that's what i've done just in case because i can't see while i'm filming let me just try and take that out a little bit okay little ring in a hole there with some chain and a hook and you've got a little charm or hang it on a page somewhere thanks for watching i'll speak to you soon bye bye for now